everyone, this is Collector of All Things, and today I'm going to be discussing this incredible Silver Centurion figure. Uh, first, I just want to point out that I am outside on such a gorgeous day, and um, I thought maybe some of the natural lighting would help out show off ex just how beautiful this figure is. This figure is from Comma Cave Studios. This is the 112th scale version of the Silver Centurion, which is a beloved armor uh, from the comic books and um, I remember when I was a, a wee little lad and I would uh, read the comics this was one of um, for, for quite a while it was a mainstay armor in the uh, in the comic books and of course they've changed the look for the movies but I think they've just done a phenomenal job of updating the armor and making it look modern and and beautiful so the first thing I want to point out is this incredible box which uh, is is made out like a lot of people said an iphone style box but uh really until you see this in person uh i think just when you look at it the the artwork on the box is incredible uh and then on the side and the back talks a little bit about the device that it's 75 percent die cast led lighting in the eyes and the chest 20 points of articulation posable playable mobile easy to the box, how it opens is crazy. It has a little magnetic flap here. When you open it up, it shows all the accessories inside. So you've got multiple hands. You've got repulsor hand, open hand. Uh, you got a fist that it comes on. Uh, you have two bladed hands on each side. You have the uh, firing effects. And then you have, of course, the hands with the repulsor effects right on it. And inside you have the instructions on actually how... Uh, to uh, operate, you know, a little bit quick start guide on how to operate the figure and what you need to do. Uh, just a phenomenal packaging, doesn't take up too much space. Great, great, great. The figure looks awesome on the inside. Uh, if we move that along and we actually take a look at the figure itself, that is just incredible. Look at this figure. Let's uh, bring the camera in a little bit more. And uh, this thing is highly articulated. Uh, it's solid. It's got really great weight, 75% die cast. But, I mean, it's so smooth, the operation, you know, the way that it moves around, the way that uh, it's just beautiful. Look at look at that. I mean, incredible. You do have the, the pull down and you can place it. I mean, I find you could put this in any type of pose that you're looking for. I mean, it has the the pull, so he has the crunch and he can go back down and up. Um, I can't put the light on here because you probably won't see it with the, the LED. We're outside, but fully functional. Now, the, it doesn't have the side to side. It does have a little tilt function on the head right here, but it does have a really nice forward and back. Uh, you can get incredible poses out of them. I mean, look at, look at that angle that you get on, on the legs right here. You know, you have a really great ankle articulation, you have toe articulation. There's uh, even little flaps on the back right here where you can, on the legs also, they open up uh, the flaps on the back. Look at that. Uh, just the, the attention to detail is, is utterly incredible. Um, it's, it's really something else. I, I just find that this is such a beautifully, highly articulated, incredible figure. Of course, you have the the knife spike that comes out that uh, was shown in the movie in Iron Man 3 when he put it through, uh, uh, he cut off uh, Aldrich Killian's uh, hand. Um, and then, I mean, I just, the, the paint app, uh, I think the paint is stunning. Uh, there's little chips all over the place too, which either I caused them or they came that way. But really just, uh, I, I think it adds to it. So even if you chip it, um, I think it adds to the battle damage of it, but it's just a stunning, beautiful looking piece. I really, really love it. Uh, I think this one is just, they, they went out of their way to make, uh, and it, I, 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 can't, I can't fault them. I think that, you know, I wish I could say uh, there's this or that, but uh, I just truly, truly love what Comic Cave did with this figure. And I'm saying, if you're looking at, you're an Iron Man fan, you want an Iron Man figure, run out and get this. What I love about it too is the size. I mean, I can put multiples uh, in one place where, let's say, like a Hot Toys uh, takes up way too much space. This is like one, it, this is a 112 scale, a Hot Toys is a 16 scale. So, really double the size, a huge figure. Uh, let's compare it next to another Comic Cave figure. 
right here. So you see size comparison works out really well. Um, and I was blown away by this one here, uh, Shades. Uh, I, I just love the articulation and everything about it. This one has gone beyond. So Shades is one of their first designs. Silver Centurion is one of their last designs uh, of recent. And the difference between the articulation, the movement, and how they work is just truly stunning. Definitely recommend this figure. You cannot go wrong with this with um, Comic Cave. Uh, not at th with this this one here. This one they just truly truly blew it out of the park. Well, that's it for my review. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at this Comic Cave figure. And if you're interested in it, go out and get it. Highly, highly, highly recommend this figure. And uh, I hope they come out with more. I think the only problem with Comic Cave is taking them a long time to come out with new figures. Uh, if they can come out with a Mark 45 or even a new Mark 47 from uh, the Spider-Man movie, I think I would jump for joy to have that. I know they have a Hulkbuster announced, um, but they have yet to release any details. Uh, they're still tr working on trying to get, um, get that out. All right, well, that's it for this quick review. Uh, if you like the content, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you like what you watch, uh, click that like button. And I want to thank all my subscribers and have a great day.